It is the, oh, I forgot what date it is already. It is the 25th. 25th of April, 2019. This is the WikiSpeed Standup. Uh, take her away, Lauren. Okay. Uh, Lauren Salter, Gabriel Island, British Columbia, Canada, uh, past week. So, um, uh, peripheral things where, uh, or maybe they'll turn out to be key. Uh, anyways, I, I've been continuing to pursue the object, the uh, a good object-oriented example. So my uh, contact who'd won the contests in the 90s for object-oriented money-saving code uh, steered me to a a uh, environment called Faro, and so I uh, I've downloaded it and I've downloaded a book called Faro by Example which would seem to be right, uh, right up the right alley. So it's, it, it's like basically a small talk. It's kind of the, something that small talk people have moved to one of the things. Uh, so uh, I worked my way through it. I, I, I surprised, I did get a surprise, which is good, neat, neat. Uh, Cause it, it was talking about a game. So it has a game called uh, Lights Off. Uh, and uh, it's a, a program design. And so the classes are the game board is one class and the game itself is another. And that, that's a bit of a surprise. I was thinking of it more of a kind of, uh, yeah, that's not how I would think of a game. So I, I, it's, it's, so far it's interesting. Okay. Um, this today I spent some time watching the videos and, uh, Really impressed with the latest, uh, yeah. So anyway, I brought myself up to speed with uh, the LRW YouTube channel uh, uh, videos and the uh, uh, working Arduino uh, code. Very uh, exciting and interesting. And then I um, remembered because uh, at, at you had a program that wasn't. Uh, very smooth you thought but yeah so it sounded like you were reluctant to run the car to actually test drive the car with that program and that reminded me that i uh i had an idea for a roll cage so i posted that for the team uh a uh, berry basket roll cage so that uh uh yeah they would it would be uh safer to test the uh test the program and uh, blocks uh, I did pretty much finish taxes I still have a piece to do and another it exposed more stuff to do to do with taxes uh, turned out I overpaid some of withholding and I'm not going to get it back till my expert uh, on this particular area is uh, available again in mid-june so uh, anyway, it exposed some of uh, the usual, usual, but basically it's the uh, failing early, failing often, and so I'm happy. And that's it for me. Okay. Um, what did I do this week? Um, I purchased some stuff, so I got the, uh, the servo to replace uh, my CNC project. I got a servo that can swing back and forth with sonar on the little red wagon. Um, I didn't get anything mounted, but that's on the next next week's agenda. Um, I attended a wiki project uh, meeting on Wednesday morning to uh, discuss what could be done and what would help us with onboarding people. Um, we discussed a little bit about the editor. Apparently, uh, the editor it does keep. Um, Versions. I'm, I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong exactly, but I have to explore that a little bit more. Um, so you don't have to delete the README file and, and then upload a new one. You should be just be able to edit the one that's there with their editor or um, upload a new one and it'll just write over top. So um, maybe I wasn't patient enough and didn't, and didn't wait for long enough. Um, what else did I do? Uh, a little bit of code for the... Uh, 
for the beacon. Um, I didn't get anything wired up, but the, the code that uh, I did get it typed in, I just haven't tried it yet. I was uh, a little busy last night. And uh, I guess that's pretty much it. I got all the parts that I ordered. Um, I put a, I ordered a second set of parts because it wasn't gonna it wasn't gonna arrive in time, and both sets of parts showed up yesterday, so, um, even earlier than they were supposed to. Um, uh, that's pretty much it. I got I have one Raspberry Pi kit now, uh, which is the Pi B three plus. I think it's what it's called, and uh, I haven't hooked it up to a computer. Uh, TV yet, but that's that's on the agenda. Um, next week, um, test some of the code out that I I did. Uh, see if I can wire some stuff up and get a mount made for the uh, for the remote control truck, so I can uh, I can mount the servo and mount the sonar and the infrared diodes and all that good stuff. Uh, I don't think I'll get all that done in one week, but we'll we'll give it a try. And Perhaps do a, it would be nice to get a little bit more done on the uh, wiki project. Um, I can't even find any uh, any decent pictures of the SGT or the company commuter car to post on the, the project. I went into uh, the Wikispeed Dropbox and it keeps giving me errors. Not sure what's going on exactly, um, but anyway, I can't I can't get any uh, pictures off of it. And uh, we haven't had anybody go through the website and check on that uh, warning from uh, who does our, our web project. Uh, the host of the of the uh, of the project. GoDaddy. GoDaddy. We haven't had anybody check into that so far, so maybe that would be a good thing to to repost for the week. And uh, that's pretty much it for me. I guess it's back to you. So I'm going to co correct myself. I forgot to do the coming week. Uh, so the coming week, uh, I really would mm, just thinking. Uh, probably, uh, I'm I'm going to do. I say I'm going to do very little because I'm signed up. Uh, and uh, I uh, adding to the blocks. It's not a real block, but uh, anyway, I'm, I'm uh, signed up for a half marathon in Vancouver, and uh, on uh, May the fifth. And I was thinking I couldn't go because of family uh, health and stuff, but I figured out a way to go. So I am uh, kind of uh, preparing for that. And so uh, I'm not anticipating that I'm going to be doing a lot, but if I do, it will be um, reading some more of the uh, object-oriented examples. Um, and uh, also, I, I want to uh, bookmark a thing uh, in my mind for, uh, I, I want to talk about the uh, versioning of the, uh, for example, the README in crosstalk and that's it uh, oh yeah so now on retro now i'm moving on to retro retro um for myself i'm gonna do a three well i'm gonna, I'm gonna do a four because uh i did follow up on the uh advice on the good examples of object oriented and came uh posted something and came here uh, team is a 10. Uh, process improvement. I have some thoughts. Um, how about uh, imagining? Just imagine for next week what might um, draw people to uh, and and stabilize. The, uh, actually, you know, I think we're actually pretty stable in terms of what we do and how, how it goes. But uh, anyway, uh, actually draw people and stabilize them as we are. So ha get people on regularly uh, and involved in projects regularly. So it's not necessarily the stand up. 
Maybe the stand up is a, is a really tough thing. But, you know, uh, just ongoing involvement. Just thinking about, you know, in an ideal world. So one of the things I, I thought was uh, if we got paid half of what we get paid as a regular rate, and that's not an impossible thing. It, it's something, but it's, it, it's a difficult thing. But if, if for some part of the things that we do, we got paid, that's uh, at, a, at half rate of what we normally work for. That, uh, that definitely may, helps me to springtime. So that's, uh, that's it for me, for the retro. Uh, okay, my retro, I think I've got six and a half. I made five and a half points out of the 10 that I had listed and plus one for, for making stand-up. Um, process improvement, oh, sorry, retro. Uh, yeah, uh, the team, I'm going to stay with eight because we need more people on, either on the on the group or um, posting to Wiki Project or we need we need more involvement. And uh, process improvement, I, I guess I kind of agree. If we can, if we can come up with uh, a way to inspire more people to join. Um, and I guess that takes us into crosstalk. Uh, you're still muted there, Lauren. There we go. Oh, you're you're muted again, and you're off. We're good. Hello. Hello. Now I'm on. I think. Yes, you are. Yes. Okay. Uh, those controls are too small for me. I mean, that's that's a, a continuous uh, actually. <laughs> I have a suggestion. <laughs> we have uh, a large tablet, like I have a ten-inch tablet as the control. <laughs> that works for me and, and everybody my age. It's uh, something as big as a, a ten-inch uh, screen, <laughs> as opposed to a phone <laughs> yeah. with large icons. <laughs> uh, Okay, so the crosstalk though is uh, on the wiki project. You're talking about wiki project. What is wiki project? Uh, wiki project is where we're storing the files over the forums and stuff. Uh, okay. Um, so is that, uh, what, what platform is it on? Uh, it's called wiki project. Okay. Isn't it called wiki project? Uh, I think in Wiki Factory. Sorry, Wiki Factory. You're, yeah. you're correct. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. So my suggestion. Yeah, re replace all my of my suggestion. Wiki project with Wiki Factory. Yeah. Uh, my suggestion is okay. So uh, actually, in order to get comfortable, I like this is I always do this with versioning because you, when you do a new thing like Git then you, you, you have to do this exercise. So do a test a file called test file or whatever, and then replace it. And then you, you need to do the learning curve of um, restore the earlier version or at least view versions. Hmm. So you want to, you want to uh, uh, take a test file and then just just overwrite it, replace it with the new one, and then you go searching for the old version, which should be there should be a a, a menu item where you it says view earlier versions or restore earlier version or there's other names for it according to which kind of version control that they have. I know it's a, it's the terminology in Git is really confusing for people who've been using uh, um, subversion and things like that. Well, and maybe it's the user interface. Um, I, I don't know where to look for the, the toolbar that lets you get to that. Um, maybe it's just as simple as I haven't found it. Uh, yeah, I didn't see a lot of 
uh, easy to find menus either. So that I think is a good question for the uh, for the, uh, the help people. Mm -hmm. They seem to be uh, available on chat uh, pretty much all the time. There's uh, there's one yeah. lady from Spain. There's one guy in North America, and I think the last person's in Asia. So uh, I'm not sure how the three of them decided to come together and, and make a <laughs> But but they do they do cover the time zones pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a an advantage. Then you can work twenty four seven without any with without missing sleep. <laughs> well, and I'm, I'm I'm not even sure that they they cover uh, work time in their own time zone, but they cover <laughs> our time and they seem to overlap. So right, right, cool. Yeah, uh, and uh, yeah. So then, yeah, if you have your um, so do, I, I'll try and do it too, but do the thing overwrite and then have it ready and then say, okay, walk me through. How do mm -hmm. I find the earlier version? How do I restore it? How do I unrestore it? You know, or what, what are the features? What can I do? Okay. And I guess I'm going to have to ask uh, when you save a new version of the README, where yeah. do you find it? I guess exactly. Because I actually went, on a different web web browser to to go and look and it and it looked the same to me. It wasn't the newer one. So, oh, that's, so what, that's that's a mistake. It, there should be something saying you know uh, save new version or it 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 should acknowledge some way when you like basically edit and update it. Mm -hmm. And I, yeah. are you ed editing online or are you uploading a new file of the same name? Um, I've tried both. I, I, yeah. When I tried editing online and it didn't seem to update, I gave up and went to uploading. So. Okay. All questions for them. And I, I'd be really interested in that, actually. So uh, if you can arrange it for a time, uh, uh, you know, say, uh, I'd like, uh, yeah, I would be interested, say, uh, with the day notice or a, a few hours notice to uh, uh, come on the, uh, now here's a question, though, but can you chat with them? More than one. Can can they bring in another user on the chat? Probably not. I I don't know. Uh, yeah. But whatever time is convenient for you, they seem to be there whenever kind of thing. Yeah. So um, I think okay. uh, I think I tried communicating um, on the Sunday of the long weekend, and no one was around for a few hours. But so <laughs> I'm thinking I'm thinking Zoom or whatever. You could share the screen. And then get on the line with them, mm -hmm. and we could try it. See, it might crash, but you could try uh, me lurking over your shoulder, looking over your shoulder as you do it. Well, at the very least, I could get it recorded. So, yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, I'll see if we can do that. Yeah, but it, on top of that, it was just like it was so cool. The uh, I I was it was exciting and to, to when you got that. Uh, the ramp up speed and the uh, turn in and uh, straighten. Mm. Done. Very cool. Yep, I'm I'm seeing some functionality at the light, at the end of the tunnel here. Hopefully, it'll be yeah. in time for my wife to actually use something this summer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I so this marathon is like the first one. So I'm not going to take. I'm not, I'm not going to have the thing for this marathon. I'm doing two more. One in, uh, on July 1st and one on September 30th, mm -hmm. uh, I'm thinking, uh, maybe more. There, uh, there's also another run here where they're really interested because it's an ultra marathon who organizes it, I know her. And she is, uh, I think, I, did I tell you about the application she thought of when I told her about the project? I don't think so. Okay, so she's an ultra marathoner, uh, basically 60K and up. Oof. <laughs> and so most of them are, <laughs> most, and mostly they're road races and they have a, a van with them mm -hmm. following them. but there are trail ultra marathons and she can't they can't take a truck so she would she thought it'd be very cool to have a a, a follow me thing now the range is a problem but they do cash stuff on the way so you could cash charge batteries or whatever on the way. Yeah. Well, and it's going to be a big, 
a big challenge to make it narrow enough to fit where everybody can go and <laughs> enough suspension to make it so that it it'll take the bumps but at the same time not tip over easy so um the t uh, the trail run in my experience i've been on one and and they they vary but uh, the one in Arizona I was on was a wide trail. It probably took service vehicles on it. It ran through, it did things like running through um, arroyos, dry river beds, little dry creek beds actually, that could be a challenge. But uh, the, the general thing was a fairly broad path. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't, it, it varies from event to event. I mean, if it's a really goat path kind of thing, yeah. And then you're, you'd be stuck with the unicycle, <laughs> a unicycle. <laughs> that would be an interesting one, yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, um, uh, anything else you want to talk about? Um, I, I, I'm pretty much done for now. I'm done for now, yeah. I'm good. Okay. Okay. So we will get this posted and hopefully we'll have some progress for next week. Yep. Okay. See okay. you next week. If All not right. sooner. Yeah, hopefully if we can get it arranged, well, it'll be sooner. <laughs>